So yeah, this is great. Uh, thanks so much, everyone, for being here. Uh, I'd like to thank E4M especially because they partnered us in this entire process of putting this report together. Also would like to thank Amin and Ajay, who've sort of been with us all throughout, uh, you know, giving us the right direction in putting this together. So with this, I'll uh, start with the presentation. So a little peek into what's really happening today. Uh, and I think this quote uh, sort of captures really the essence of what's happening in content today. We feel like, you know, not much is changing, but there is a, there is a huge uh, shift that has taken place in the past few years when we look back, when we reflect back from the past two or three years in terms of what content planning is today. So this is really the big uh, change that we can see. Um, there is media, there's creativity, there is technology. What once was uh, sort of worked in silos today, the lines between all of them are blurring. And while that is happening, the biggest opportunity is really for uh, content marketing because you know this, this uh, coming together of the three has created like a great fertile space for us to really explore and create uh, innovative content. So let's deep dive into each of these, um, starting with the media landscape. Uh, as we all know, uh, this is a highly saturated and cluttered um, space, um, especially for uh, content marketing. Even from a consumer standpoint, if you just look at what consumers are do doing today, they're constantly scrolling. And you know, if one could possibly measure, I'm sure that you know the scrolls that people uh, sort of go through online uh, is far more than the distance that we travel through strolling offline. So there is this you know, constant barrage of information that's given to people, and people are con constantly scrolling through uh, all of that. So the biggest challenge really is for a marketer because they really don't know uh, how to capture consumers' attention. So the, the answer is really in um, coming up with innovative, differentiated offerings by leveraging media and uh, technology in new ways. Another big shift that has taken place, I think uh, some of you all touched upon it, is the whole uh, role of technology and AI, which enables creators. Today, uh, AI is one of the biggest tools that creators are leveraging in creating content. And this content uh, that they're creating is far superior and much, much faster than they could do many years ago. So that's really a game changer. And because of this, there is a whole explosion in terms of platforms. So if you see, there are a plethora of plat platforms from metaverse to gaming to creative. Uh, and that's enabling us to explore new spaces to create content. And while you know the platforms are exploding, so is the, the, the explosion of formats. Uh, I, um, uh, Amin and uh, Shashang San sort of touched upon this whole topic of you know, uh, creating content right from three seconder to three months. So if one were a marketer, it's a huge challenge. You really don't know what is it that you, know, you should be creating. Should you be creating a bumper ad or should you be creating a 30 minute TVC or should you go in for the long haul and have a long term tie up uh, with uh, certain sponsorships and events. So, uh, we, uh, you know, as the entire um, scenario around us is changing, the environment is changing, technology is changing, so also marketing has gone over and uh, beyond what it used to be. So, uh, starting with uh, brand speak, um, there was a time when brands used to talk about purpose, would uh, propagate their purpose, but that's just not enough today anymore. Today, uh, consumers are demanding that you know, uh, the brands really walk the talk because that's really what's going to put uh, the brand into their consideration basket. Another shift is from uh, creating. While a lot of brands created a lot of content, a lot of uh, communication, but it all rested on their own handles. But today, again, you know, it's not just brands that are creating content. There is the creators uh, and the uh, publications that are really transforming this space. 
And therefore, the real role for us is to co-create with them, to work with the influencers to really create content for our consumers. Um, this is something very, very interesting that is taking place. Uh, typically, whenever a marketer got a brief, uh, the, the biggest thought in his head is that, how is it that I'm going to answer this, uh, you know, brief? What are the, uh, how am I going to overcome these, these barriers? What is the, so we spent copious amount of hours trying to find answers to the questions. However, today with AI, the entire space has, has changed. Today we spend hours on uh, different AI platforms, let's say like ChatGPT, Dali, et cetera, to really you know, give the right prompts to get the right output. So AI is giving the right answers. And um, I mean, as I see it, in the next few years, we'll, uh, marketers are likely to recruit people um, uh, you know, under the designation of chief prompt officer. And finally, uh, coming to um, content. So, uh, typically, content was uh, all about you know driving awareness, uh, creating some kind of entertainment, engagement, etc. But no more. Today, content is about you know uh, driving business growth, and we are making content more accountable and more measurable in the long term. So. Um, we know that content is not just restricted to one thing, it's not just one TVC or it's not just one little ad on social media, it's a whole bunch of things, you know, be it sports, be it technology, be it social media, but, you know, at the heart of everything that content is, there are four key pillars, uh, which is the consumer who's influencing everything that we do for them, to the creator who's actually delivering the content to the consumer and technology and platforms which, who have become enablers. So I'm just going to touch upon some of the key things uh, that we've sort of covered in depth in our report uh, to showcase what's really changing, what are the big trends that are happening in each of these spaces. So starting with the consumer, uh, sorry, starting with the creator. Um, uh, the creator is the person, uh, you know, uh, who's existed in, um, uh, for many, many years. But the influence that this influencer really has, has changed very, very rapidly over the years. So it's very interesting the role that they play in the consumer's life, in how they influence, what kind of power that they have over a consumer's decision making, who are these uh, influencers uh, who've entered, you know, the new influencers that have come in and what really are they doing? So our report deep dives into understanding uh, these influencers, who, what, how, uh, uh, are they, what kind of content are they creating? And some of the big trends that we've observed, uh, like, for example, de-influencing or the, the rise of the meta-human influencer. So these are some of the uh, things that we've deep dived into uh, in our report. The next, the most important person is uh, the consumer, uh, without whom this entire content marketing would be redundant. Now, uh, within, con uh, within this whole space of people who are consuming this content, two uh, cohorts which have played a very, very big role is one is the Gen Z or who we call the screenagers. They spend copious amount of hours online scrolling through feeds, uh, you know, creating their own content and consuming a lot of content. And the other one is uh, Bharat or the tier two plus consumers uh, who have, who are, who've really been the game changers in this entire content uh, marketing uh, scenario. They're the ones who've entered a uh, little later, but uh, they are uh, consuming a lot of content, right? Now, how they are influencing is, uh, today the kind of content that is being created for them is changing. The, the, langu the language in which we're communicating to them is changing. Uh, the, uh, you know, where we reach them, what platforms we re reach them is also transforming. So our report deep dives into some of these key trends that's really, um, uh, uh, you know, that the, uh, that the consumer is and how that's influencing content and various aspects of the platforms that they're consuming it on. Um, a lot of people touched upon a little earlier on technology. Yes, AI plays a very, very big role. And today, while AI is present, a lot of content developers are using this actually as a tool for creation. 
Uh, it enables a creator to actually overcome some of the barriers in creating content, as well as enhancing the content, creating superior content, delivering content uh, much, much faster, and things that weren't possible earlier is now made possible today. But uh, technology is, uh, uh, you know, because it's accessible to everybody, the real key or the real magic is really uh, in unlocking uh, how we engage with our consumers today in overcoming some of the issues that consumers are facing and uh, creating a very, um, uh, what should I say, a very special way in which we can connect with our consumers, uh, which was earlier not possible without technology. And the last is platforms. Again, this is very critical in terms of, uh, you know, where we put the content up, right? Now, there are a plethora of uh, platforms. If a marketer has, uh, you know, wants to put out uh, some, uh, any kind of content, uh, they're really spoiled for choice in terms of, you know, which platform they can choose from. So there are these old uh, existing platforms, their legacy platforms have existed for a long time, but they're ever evolving with the changing needs of the consumer. Then there are these new platforms, which are sort of uh, engaging with consumers in new ways, in new languages, uh, um, and also engaging with consumers on a long-term basis. And then our report covers how uh, platforms have a role to play in the long term. What are the things that, you know, what are the new uh, options that marketers will have from a platform standpoint in the long run? So, yes, that's it from me. This is uh, just a, a sort of a peek into the report. Uh, I hope that in a few days you will be able to gra grab your reports and uh, deep dive into it and hopefully that will influence all the content uh, that you create moving forward. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Rupasha.